Hey guys, welcome back to my channel MI Tutorials. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to set up a currency conversion table and also set up a slicer wherein you select a particular currency and the values here change based on the currency selected and also it gets dynamically formatted like for example in this column now you see the pound symbol and when I select USD it changes to USD and when I select Euro it changes to Euro along with the title of the table here which is also changing dynamically if you haven't noticed because it now displaying values in Euro and when I click GBP it changes to GBP. So let us learn how to do this. So let's get started with this tutorial. I'm going to create a new tab over here and then let me quickly show you the data model that I have over here. I have three different tables. One is I have my orders table wherein I have all of my sales details and I have added a calendar table as well and I have connected the calendar table here with my order date field with the date field that I have in the calendar table. Now if you don't know how to create a calendar table please watch a tutorial which is available on my channel because it's super important to have a calendar table in your data model. And then the third table I have over here is I have a exchange rates table and this is how the exchange rates table looks like. So I have my date, I have my exchange rate and then I have my currency which is being calculated from INR to the currency that I have over here whether it's USD, GBP or Euro and the way I have connected my exchange rate table with the calendar table is the relationship is between the date column okay. So let's get started now. So let's come here and bring in uh, order date and sales as a first step into my visual table over here okay and then the next thing that I'm going to do here is add a slicer for my currency uh, selection. So I'm going to click on currency sorry not here but I'm going to click on currency on a new visual and then instead of using the traditional slicer I'm going to use the tree map over here okay and then since I need a value here for this currency I have created a new measure I'm just calling that as is equals to 1 and then I'm going to bring in this measure here into the value field or you can simply click on this you will see something like this being created and simply uh, rearrange this to match your requirement and let's quickly go here and change the title of this particular visual and call this as select currency and have this in the middle you can change the background to black and have the text in white okay so now we have this select currency euro gbp usd okay now let's begin with creating the measure so i'm going to click on these ellipses and click on new measure and let's call this measure as sales in converted currency is equals to the first thing i'm going to do is define a max state over here because we want to use this date and join and connect it with the uh, exchange rate table and bring in the value from the exchange rate table. So I'm going to say var max underscore date is equals to max of order date. Max of order date. Okay. So now I've got my date which is exactly what is available in this particular row over here. And then I'm going to say go to the next variable called as uh, currency selected okay is equals to I'm going to say selected value now here is where we're making a selection of our currency that we have selected over here in this particular slicer so here this is going to be my currency uh, column from our exchange rates table okay if nothing is selected then I want the default here to be USD okay I'm going to close the bracket here go to the next line here let us define the exchange rate or let us bring in the exchange rate where exchange rate oops exchange rate is equals to I'm going to use the lookup value function over here I'm going to look up and the result column name here is going to be my exchange rate from the exchange rates table okay comma my search column name here is going to be currency okay what am I looking up against the search value here against the value that we have selected which is currency selected variable that we've created here on top so I'm going to say currency selected comma 
and then I'm going to say uh, I want to match the date now. We've now matched the currency that we've selected. We also want to match the date. So here I'm going to select date from my exchange rates table, which is over here, comma. And here now I'm going to select max date, max date. Okay. I'm going to close the bracket over here and press enter. I'm going to define another variable over here where uh, converted sales is equals to now I'm going to multiply my exchange rate with the sum of my sales value from the orders table. Okay, I'm going to close the bracket here. And now let us say return converted sales. Okay. So now let's press enter and see what happens. Now let's bring in the sales measure that we created. And uh, okay, the values are appearing blank. Okay, uh, the reason why the values here are appearing blank because I don't have these dates in my exchange rates table. So let's quickly reformat this to show, show the newer dates in the beginning. If you go back here in my table, uh, I don't have the data from uh before 13 march onward so that's why you don't see anything that is before 13 march right don't get confused so this is the data now so it is we've currently selected euro so this is showing us in euro now if you click on gbp you will very easily be able to validate this because one gbp is equals to almost about 100 rupees so you will see that 714 here is converted to 7.14 gbp and here usd is 714 rupees is 9.64 in usd on this particular date so this seems to be now working so we will have to make a couple of more changes we will have to add the dynamic uh, title to this particular uh, chart over here firstly let us quickly go to the uh, format visual here and change the style of the chart here i'm gonna i'm gonna want to have a bold header and then I also need to have alternating rows. So I kind of like this particular uh, style over here in this visual. So now let's create a dynamic title. I'm going to go here to the orders tab, click on this new measure over here and call this as dynamic title. Okay, is equals to, uh, I'm going to say displaying, oops, displaying values in okay and then i'm going to say and selected value from my exchange rate currency okay else it is usd if nothing is selected then usd i'm going to close the bracket here and press enter and let me quickly go here to the format visual go to general title turn this on and then click on this fx button over here field value change this to title measure that we just created dynamic title i'm going to click on ok so you will see the measure being uh, appearing here in the title i'm going to quickly change the background here to black and have the text in white okay so displaying values in usd if i click on gbp over here it says displaying values in gbp so now we have fixed the title dynamic title as well and now we need to work on getting this formatted in the uh, currency that we select so you in this you cannot simply go here and select the dollar sign and uh, make that particular uh, format change because if we do that even if we select gbp it is not going to change it is going to remain in usd so what you need to do is you need to change this in the measure so for that what we will be doing is uh, we will go back to the measure here and we will format this particular return that we have created okay we're going to say return format okay return format open bracket so this is the value that we want to format which is converted sales okay comma and then i'm going to go to the next line here and use the switch statement this is where the switch statements come in comes in handy okay then i'm going to say selected value which is currency here okay comma by default it is usd okay close the bracket uh, we've now closed the bracket here for selected value and then i'm going to go to the uh, i'm press type in comma here go to the next line and type in 
So it's asking us to enter value one. So basically it's asking us to enter the value that we have selected in our slicer, which is USD, okay? If it is USD, then what do you want as a result? So here, if it is USD, I'm gonna say, open double quotes, have a dollar sign, okay? Followed by a hash, comma, hash, hash, zero, okay? Now, this is keeping in mind that we don't need any decimal points uh, in the value. But however, if you need decimal points, you just need to type in comma and double zero over here. Okay. I don't need decimal points. So I'm going to keep it at this particular uh, uh, value over here. I'm going to close the quotes here. Type in comma. Go to the next line. Next I have is euro. I'm going to repeat the same thing over here. Now, some keyboards might not have the euro sign for us to type in. So what comes in handy is that we will have to type this value manually here. I'm going to remove the dollar sign. I'm going to press alt and type in 0, 1, 2, 8. This is going to give me the euro sign, okay, comma. And then I'm going to the next line here and then I'm going to type in GBP. This needs to be exactly what we have in our table. Make sure that this does not change comma open quotes and for pound i'm gonna type in i'm gonna hold alt key and then type in 0163 this is going to give me the pound symbol and then i'm gonna copy the entire thing here and paste it back then i'm gonna close the bracket once i'm i'm closing the bracket here for the switch statement and then i need to close the bracket once again to close the bracket for my format function okay and then press enter you will see that the values are now changed. We have values here in GBP and this particular values are now appearing in GPP. Likewise, if you click on USD, you will see dollar appearing over here. And for Euro, you will see Euro sign appearing over here. So this is how you create the entire currency conversion table and also have the dynamic values or being formatted in the table. I hope this video has helped you. You've learned something new today. If you've got any questions or any kind of queries, please feel free to drop in the, in the comment and I'll be happy to answer. Also guys, request you all to please subscribe and like this video if, if this has really helped you because it helps me grow the channel and lot of people will start watching my channel. Thank you so much for watching.